hello guys so if you've been following my channel for some time now you'd notice i've actually talked about this dragonland game and today i'm excited to uh finally bring to you the fact that this game is now live on mainnet it's an nft game project uh where players get to duel one another and eventually get to collect uh, several rewards of nft items as well as dor tokens uh, the video today will also provide insights into uh, the PvE mode and some of the recent activities within the Dragonland ecosystem. So basically the Dragonland game integrates the battle card gameplay and blockchain technology, uh, creating fast-paced brawls among Dragon Warriors. Uh, the game features a number of exciting game characters like Vanguard, uh, Doragon, Orc Giant, uh, there's also Baby Dragon, as well as Dual Shooter and Iron Fire. There are quite a number of NFT characters you can use uh, in playing this game. Uh, the game is actually uh, first released in PvP mode and the game now also features the PvE mode. There's an in-game marketplace where users can get to sort of uh, trade uh, their earnings as well as uh, purchase different in-game uh, NFTs as well as uh, game items when playing out the game. The, the game features a uh, staking function, uh, NFT collectibles, uh, a marketplace, like I said earlier, and an ownership program. So if you look at the roadmap for development for Dragonland uh, in, from Q1, Q4 of 2021, when uh, the whole uh, system began, uh, we are, we're just gonna, gonna focus on Q2 of 2022, uh, which is the quarter we're currently in. Uh, the PVE mode is actually released. Uh, it was released on the 4th of April, 2022. Uh, we're also looking forward to the scholarship program and there's the free to play mode that we'll be looking forward to, as well as the mobile app version of the Dragonland game. Uh, and then in Q3, we'll be looking at the betting option, uh, the locking spin uh, option, and also the new character release uh, is what we're also going to expect in Q3. Uh, in Q3, we'll be looking forward to in-game item release as well. While in Q4, uh, Dragonland is set to bring uh, forth tower, spin, tower skins, uh, tournaments, clan donations, uh, as well as battle pass. And then in the first quarter of 2023, uh, Dragonland seeks to bring uh, for the land ownership, clan wars, as well as new character uh, release, basically. So if you navigate this portal to uh, the white paper, you gotta see uh, uh, what's, the, what's the need for, for new players. So basically, how do you get to start this game? So to get started, basically you need to collect uh, eight different cards to be able to play the game and join the PvP battle modes in Dragonland. Uh, users can actually purchase uh, the NFT packs from Dragonland uh, or you can usually get that from uh, the Mirana Marketplace which is integrated in the game for you to be able to use this uh, f character to play uh, the game. And uh, Users can also get to play the game at um, go to a website, you can play on web currently at dragonland.io and you just simply navigate uh, to the play now button and connect your Metamax wallet extension and follow the processes to play. So here you will find basic information including your wallet address, your ranking, the amount of gold you have your, and the DOR you own. You can select the cards to battle and click the card button on the left side of the button to be able to play the game. Uh, when you navigate further, you gotta see uh, the different uh, game cards by level which you could select uh, to be able to participate in this game. And if you move further, uh, you gotta once you have selected your cards and you've successfully purchased your cards, uh, a minimum of eight of them, you can now request to play the game and you'll be connected to an opponent. As soon as an opponent is matched to you, you gotta see your opponent side and your side of the game. You see your card decks as well as the mana bar for the game. And then at the end of the game, uh, winners can get to uh, eventually get uh, gold. DOR and rank points which will help you climb up the leaderboard. The loser will get uh, gold but no DOR will be given and their rank points will eventually be deducted uh, from the system. So I'm excited to share with you that the uh, testnet version of PvE is now live. You can play at uh, testnet.play.doragonland.io uh, if you navigate further as a user, you can actually stick your earnings, uh, DR earnings, so you can stick them into no lockup pool where you can earn APR of up to 5%. There's a 60 day locked pool of APR 9%, uh, and there's a 120 day locked pool where you can earn APR up to 120, uh, oh, sorry, 20%. Uh, you can simply just connect your browser and you'll be able to uh, connect your MetaMask wallet extension to be able to participate in this staking. There's also the option of liquidity uh, provisioning staking where you can also get to earn uh, enormous uh, rewards by. Uh, sort of providing liquidity for DOR um, BNB liquidity pool uh, via the Dragonland website. So uh, it's also uh, important to see here that when you know, get further, you get to see the uh, marketplace and in this marketplace, uh, you can get to see the option to buy chest. At this point in time, chests are completely sold out. As you can see here, 
uh, there's the kumquat, uh, the cherry blossom, warrior, starter, and rhino, which were completely sold out in the early stages of the uh, Dragonland project. Uh, but subsequently, uh, I believe uh, more chests will be sold out in the future, and you can easily get to participate uh, in this feature. And then when you also check out uh, the, the uh, product, the, the marketplace feature, you can get to see where you can buy your cards. And these different cards uh, come with different prices for uh, the different game characters which you have. And you need to equip your game characters with these different level of cards to be able to uh, uh, decimate uh, your opponent as you uh, may want to. And the cards can actually help increase uh, the fighting strength of your uh, NFT game character. So uh, you can purchase these uh, from the marketplace, and then the marketplace also gives you the trading history of uh, Dragonland game. So you're gonna see a uh, listing of items and the price, the quantity, and the addresses which uh, these trades took place, and the exact date and time uh, of trade. So this is actually a full package uh, where you're gonna see everything is transparent. Uh, there's also uh, the fact that um, recently, uh, like I said earlier, the PvE mode of this game uh, actually went live. Uh, to understand much more about the PvE, uh, there's actually two uh, types of PvE mode in this game. Uh, there's the normal stage and the boss stage. Now, instead of using three towers against three towers like in PvP mode, uh, in, the, in this stage, uh, in the normal stage, you will use uh, their warrior, your warrior actually to fight one to three towers in three minutes. So users will get rewards when they win or lose, uh, about 50 gold for winning and 10 gold for uh, defeat basically, uh, that's what you gotta see. And then in the boss stage, uh, so in this stage actually users have about 5 minutes to fight and defeat the boss, uh, which are eventually dragons in the game but uh, with their mag magnified size and great attack statistics. Uh, because it is difficult to eventually beat the boss, the reward uh, players will get will be slightly higher than the normal stage, so you can get as high as 15 DOR. Uh, and 100 gold uh, if they can defeat the, the boss eventually. Um, so yeah, uh, users have at least uh, three PVE tickets per day and you know, this will be done. Uh, there will be one play playback time after five uh, hours so you can actually go back to play uh, for the three times you have to try this thing out in a day. Uh, for normal stages, uh, this will be mixed with uh, actually one boss stage so you gotta receive extra reward uh, after completing uh, one chapter. There's one piece of gacha plus 200 gold uh, which would be available uh, to you. It's also important to note that uh, Dragonland actually introduced a new feature which are the badges for top leaderboard. Uh, this is actually a surprise but there are about five of them and users can eventually play to you know earn these badges. Uh, what are the badges worth? There are actually uh, five badges at the top of the leaderboard and they're classified according to the following levels. There is the God of War, Arena Terminator, there's the Arena Warrior, uh, there is the Arena Star uh, and the Top Challenger basically. So each badge requires different conditions and they also offer you different benefits. Uh, you see that in this table. Uh, basically you can uh, actually hold them for three to seven days and um, certain things you need to know is that the extra rewards will be applied from the dates uh, these titles are active and when the user achieves many titles at the same time only one only the title and benefits apply to the the one with the highest title eventually would leave, get the benefits and the, if you have more titles then the benefits are not cumulative basically so when uh, the titles expire uh, but the user has not got any new achievements that are eligible so the titles and benefits are completely turned off until a new title is established uh, it's important to also share at this point that uh, Dragonland actually uh, held a buyback campaign where about 10 million uh, DOR tokens will be buy bought back uh, from PancakeSwap. You can follow the official channel so you join the Telegram community for more updates on this. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, have a good day.